six weeks out for my first ever bodybuilding show. We are five weeks and one day out, four weeks out, three weeks and two days out. It is Monday, April 17th. That means it's peak. We are two days out, right? Dude, it's fucking, fucking show go. day. Let's go, baby. Please welcome to the stage, competitor number 363, Casey Kelly. What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video and to my very first episode of my prep series for 2024. Now I am so excited to be filming this video if you can already tell and I hope you're equally as excited to be watching it but you may be curious what my plan is for the entire prep so let me tell you a little bit more about that. So today is Saturday, March 30th and that gives me exactly 16 weeks or 112 days to get as shredded as I possibly can on this prep. And last year as a bunch of you know I literally did it in 11 weeks. I stopped my bulk and I went right into prep in 11 weeks so I was really really busting it it was really hard on my body and it just was not completely ideal and as a lot of you know I also did an untested show last year in the NPC just because it was in Charlotte it was in my hometown and I wanted all my friends and family to be able to come and I was curious how I fared against everyone else but this year I'll be doing a natural show, I'll be doing an OCB show, so I should be up against some fair competition and hopefully one of my main goals is to get that OCB natural pro card in 16 weeks from today. And on the topic of talking about goals for prep, I have a lot of personal goals that I wanna share with y'all. One, to keep myself accountable and to make sure I'm doing it. And two, to let it be known that I struggle with a bunch of stuff while I'm cutting just like you guys do, so I really wanna share those. So let me tell you a little bit more about my goals. So last year prep was extremely tough and I don't think I made that apparent enough at all in the videos. The last six weeks, I was completely miserable and I just was not showing my emotions. I was bottling everything up and I was like, I'm just gonna reach this goal. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna look happy on camera. When in reality, I really wasn't that happy the entire time because it was really, really mentally draining. And I don't expect this prep to be easy by any means, but I wanna feel all the emotions. I don't wanna be miserable. If I'm feeling tired, I'm tired, whatever. If I'm feeling good, I'm gonna be grateful for that. And I really just wanna show you guys how I'm actually feeling in the moment. So goal number one, enjoy the process and feel all the emotions and show you guys. Goal number two, and something y'all also didn't get to see last prep, is I want to be as nice to the people around me as I possibly can be. Because as I said, I was miserable those last four weeks and I was not very nice to the people around me. I wasn't particularly mean, but I was extremely short. I didn't want to talk to anyone and I was just in my own zone and I just was not as nice to the people around me as I would like to be, especially my girlfriend, my family, my friends at the gym. I didn't want to talk to anyone. So I'm making it a point this year to again, enjoy the process and to be as nice to the people around me as I possibly can be. I'm not going to be short and I'm not going to be short tempered. It's going to be all good. So goal number two is just to be as nice to the people around me as I am on my bulk. Because without close friends and family supporting you, there's really no point in doing it. Goal number three that I want to accomplish, I want to post a prep vlog every single week. So this is the 16 weeks out video. You're gonna get a 15, 14, blah, 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 all the way up until show day, a video every single week. If you didn't know, I normally post every single Saturday at 11 a.m. Goal number four, and this one is extremely simple. I have 16 weeks this year, so I want to get as shredded as I possibly can. That's it. And goal number five, the ultimate goal of this prep is I want to win my natural pro bodybuilding card. So come along with me, get excited, because we are going to be giving it our absolute all. I'll be competing in Classic Physique. That Classic Physique natural pro card will be mine at the end of the 16 weeks. Just a little bit more background before we get into the day, because we actually have a really fun day planned today. We're gonna go train legs with an already natural pro bodybuilder. We're also gonna go to the lake. We're gonna have fun with the dogs, and it's gonna be be a great day. I'm going to show you everything I eat. So make sure you're sticking around for that. But before we get into the day, I need to give you all a little physique update and let you know where I'm standing right now. This morning, I woke up at 185 pounds, but I hit peak bulk about a month ago at 190.4 pounds, which is the heaviest I've ever weighed by far. And then I just came down and chilled at maintenance for about a month at 185 pounds because I had a bunch of travel planned and I didn't want to be shoving food down my gullet the entire time. And I hit my bulk goal weight. Last year, I hit peak bulk at 186 six pounds and then I went down to 162. So this year I'm hoping to compete around 167. Hopefully I gained about four to five pounds of solid muscle tissue. I would be over the moon if that was the truth, which means I only have about 20 pounds give or take of weight to lose, which I'm extremely excited about. It will make my prep a lot easier and I don't have to absolutely kill myself for those last few pounds. So I'm really excited about that, but I'm sure y'all are curious what 185 pounds looks like on my six foot frame right now, almost peak bulk. So I'm gonna show you.
clearly we have a lot of work to do. So let's get into the day and start working on this bread. Ladies and gentlemen, meal number one of prep is served and you might be curious what it is. So I'm about to tell you, we have cream of rice, oats, rice, Skippy peanut butter protein, only the best protein on the market, and peanut butter in here. This is also serving as our pre-workout meal as Q and his girlfriend are on the way here so that we can hit a nasty, nasty leg day but I'm not gonna talk too much more about this. I'm not gonna give the amounts and everything because it's not a full day of eating video. I will be putting out some full day of eating videos on prep, so I'll give you all the amounts, all the calories, all the macro breakdowns for every meal and everything like that. Today, that's not that. I'm gonna enjoy this, and then Q is gonna be here, and we're gonna go hit a leg day. Before Q gets here, we need to choose a pre-workout from our pre-workout stash. Of course, every single one of them is rice ups. Rice ups, rice ups, rice ups. You guys know you can use code Casey, right? All right, the pre-workout I chose for today. We got Rise, Pink Splash pre-workout, one of my favorite flavors. We're gonna do about a half a scoop to three quarters of a scoop because I don't need 400 milligrams of caffeine. We're also gonna do a Pink Splash hydration packet right here. This is gonna help us get a better pump. And then this, especially towards the end of prep when we have no carbs in us, is gonna help us get an absolutely fantastic pump, the pump caps. I just told you guys, Rise Subs, code Casey. We're gonna do this and Q is pulling in right now. <laughs> No way he is wearing the exact same shirt as me. This dude is wearing the exact same shirt as me. Coke There's KP. no way that's possible. <laughs> Coke Casey, Young LA. Thanks for the plug. Young LA Coke Casey is Coke on the screen Coke right there. Coke She's wearing pretty much Coke the same QP. shirt as she is too. That just don't make sense. No, so Somehow, it happened. We're locked in. We're about to head to the gym. Me and Q are gonna hit a leg workout. I guess the natural pro bodybuilder will tell me how I should be working out legs even though he hits the legs once a week because he's a bot. Oh yeah, once a week, that's all you need. That's not all you need, twice <laughs> a week. Hey, it got me the pro card, I'll take it. Not Natty, <laughs> ask Greg Deuce. <laughs> he is not natural. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go hit a leg workout. Let's get it. I don't know how I forgot to tell you guys, but we are at the brand new Crusher Coliseum location. You guys know that Crusher Coliseum is one of my favorite gyms. This one is actually way closer to my house. So this is where I will be doing my entire prep. It's so nice because I have a place that's very bodybuilder focused so I can just hunker down and get to prep and work as hard as I can. Right, Q, isn't it nice to have one place that's like really, really nice and like... For sure, yeah. Uh, I would wish that I had a gym like this close to me. So it's, uh, it's very nice to have a bodybuilding style gym. We're doing uh, quad focused legs. We're starting off on some hamstrings though, just to warm up the knees, warm up the hamstrings. Then we're gonna get into legs. I don't know if we're gonna chit chat a lot, but we are going to get to work. Let's get after it, buddy. Let's get it. Two, two sets, hey. a warm up set and another sweat. I'll be drenched here in a minute. What do you mean by that? Bro, I don't sweat like that. It's weird because I don't sweat when I'm lean, but I sweat yeah, like crazy when I'm bold. Tubby. Oh yeah, I'm tubby, I'm getting there. Give me about, give me about three more months. We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be a little bowling ball in here. The good thing about this gym is you got three different hack squats to choose from. We got all the leg equipment in the world: pendulum squat, side back squat press. So we're gonna have a good leg day, buddy. We're about to get on this hack squat, blow up these quads. Our hamstrings are absolutely toasted already. So that's all the hamstrings we're doing. But I don't get a chance to use hack a lot, so this is a, uh, this is one of the best hacks you can get. He's got to move down here. Hack squat time.
is when you're training on a cut or on prep, you are training as hard as you possibly fucking can. Excuse my language. Family friendly, sorry brother. Uh, what we're doing is we're training as hard as we possibly can to keep all the muscle. You've gotta tell your body that you wanna keep the muscle on there. Cause if not, it's gonna be like, yeah, I'll have some of your muscle for fuel, blah, blah, blah. That's when you get super deep into the cut. Right now, I'm not really risking it, but we're still training hard. Maybe we'll get a tiny little bit of muscle growth in there. Thank you, brother. Let's do hack squats. like wow those outfits are so cool where did you get them everything that he's wearing everything that i'm wearing you can get them at young la and use code casey for 15 percent off young la young la young la young la you already know baby code casey but right now we're hitting some adductors to finish up the upper leg then we're going to calves we're getting a really good workout in honestly i am hitting it hard first real day of prep we're getting after it we got 16 weeks that's it 16 weeks I'm envious of this man's calves. Look at these. He's not even shredded right now. He's not even shredded. That's not fair. Mackenzie, uh, what happened? Uh, ladies, how was your workout? Good? That's good. Good? The ladies are happy. That means we're happy, guys. Happy wife, happy life. We just got an absolutely fantastic workout in. My hair is all frizzy, but we are going back to the house right now to go get a meal before we head to the lake, but in the car on the drive home. I'm having another Rice Krispie treat just to make sure we can fuel up. I only have one, you don't get any. I will catch you guys at the uh, post-workout like meal. So it is almost five o'clock right now, so it looks like we're only gonna get four meals in today. I'll just adjust the calories and add some things here and there to make sure we're hitting about 3,000 calories, about 220 grams of protein. I think it's like 90 grams of fat and then like 300 some grams of carbs. I don't know exactly, but it adds out to 3,000 calories. But right here in front of us, post-workout meal, we have 93.7 grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef. We got uh, white jasmine rice, orange ginger marinade sauce, and some broccoli on top. We're gonna eat this, I'm gonna enjoy it thoroughly, and then we are headed off to the dock to go have some fun at the lake, and the dogs are gonna run around, and it's gonna be fun. So keep sticking around. If you made it up to this point of the video, comment shredded, because we got 112 days to get shredded, baby, and this is gonna make our shredded. So was that leg workout, coming shredded. are opposing and putting off going into the water because it is absolutely freezing. It is the first day of the year that it's even sort of nice out. It's like 75 degrees out, but it's six o'clock at night now and the water is kind of cold, but I think we're gonna jump in anywhere for the video, right? Yeah, we're we'll gonna get in. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is what I call a backflip. <laughs> Holy shit, it's so cold. I'm not sure that I wanna get in there now. Holy crap, the gonads. Are <laughs> 
<laughs> so I carried back up into me. Young LA bathing suit changes print. You see that? Oh, it was like solid before. Now it's patterned. Young LA code Casey. Casey! You <laughs> My nipples are hard. Quentin Pulliam is a nose plugger. That's like that's like the worst thing. Hey, I'm a be. fish in the water, but I You're gotta not, plug my nose if I'm dunking. <laughs> Holy fuck, that's cold! <laughs> Holy that's, shit. that's exactly my reaction. Get me out of here. That's cold as fuck. I told you it was. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna keep jumping in a few times and then I'll catch you in the next clip. Honestly, I have no idea where it's gonna be. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back home now and we have meal three in front of us. I actually think we're gonna get our five regular set meals in, but right now in front of me, I have chicken breast with salsa verde, I have a guac cup, and I have homemade tortilla chips that are literally just corn tortillas. This is definitely one of my favorite meals currently, but I have 8,700 steps right now. You might be curious, Casey, what's your cardio regimen right now? And I'm not doing cardio on leg days, I'm doing like set cardio sessions four days a week at this point, but I get a minimum of 10K steps every day to make sure my movement is still up and that I'm still burning calories throughout the day. So 10K minimum steps, I got to get about 1,500. It won't be hard at all, but after this meal, I'm gonna go head for a walk and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Check how good these are. Bustin'. I'm literally just walking around my apartment complex right now, getting my steps in, trying to hit my 10K steps. And this is an awesome tip for weight loss in general. Not if you're on prep, if you're generally just trying to lose some weight, get your daily activity up and it will make a world of difference. Just like you would count your calories, you count your steps to make sure your movement is consistent, just like your caloric intake is consistent. And you can literally burn so many more calories just by walking. I'm literally walking right now around my apartment complex, probably for like 15, 20 minutes to get the rest of the steps in and it's super super easy and you can lose so much more weight so that's definitely a huge tip for you guys anyone that's cutting for summer or just trying to lose weight in general definitely take me up on that advice and watch the weight fly off another thing if you're walking directly after a meal like I am right now it is so huge for digestion I literally call them digestion walks because it helps everything get moving get flowing through there so if you have poor digestion even if you're bulking going for like a five ten minute walk after your meals will make a world of difference in your digestion and that's super important you got to make sure the food is going where you want it to go and digesting well because if you keep eating food and it keeps getting backed up that just ain't good definitely utilize that to your favor as well We are now in from walking, we have showered up, and we have meal four, AKA the pre-Fortnite meal in front of us. You heard me right, we're about to go play Fortnite. I'll update you guys if I got any wins, but in front of us is very similar to meal number two. We have white rice, we have 93.7 grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef, we have a little bit of lettuce for a crunch, we have some fat-free, sugar-free chipotle ranch, it's honestly really good. And just a little bit of avocado oil for some healthy fats, but check that out right there. Kind of like a little taco bowl. Honestly, really good. I'm gonna go enjoy my night and unwind with some Fortnite. And by unwind, I mean yell at the TV screen for two hours straight, but I'm gonna enjoy this, and then I'm gonna go see if I can catch some dubs. Ladies and gentlemen, I am regretful to inform that I have absolutely zero good Fortnite news for you. We got absolutely waxed tonight. Not a single win, but anyway, we are on to meal number five. We're keeping it simple and easy, because that's what I like after a long night of gaming. I don't wanna be making a bunch of food. So we have one and a half scoops of the Rise Chocolate Cookie Blast Protein. This is currently my favorite protein just because it's not super, super sweet like the other ones. When I get deeper into prep, I promise you I'm gonna absolutely love the sweeter ones, but coming off of bulk, I'm not really into the sweets. But then we also have just one serving of almonds, 28 grams of almonds right here. I'm going to enjoy this very thoroughly. I really appreciate y'all who stuck around until the end of the video. Make sure you're liking, commenting, and subscribe so that you don't miss a single prep episode. This is only the beginning. I can't thank you guys enough for the support. It's only gonna get better. We're only gonna get more shredded, and I promise you, it's gonna gonna be extremely entertaining so make sure you like comment and subscribe i will catch you in the next youtube video peace Ugh.